96.5 KVKI, it's Elizabeth, and I have the pleasure of being joined in studio this morning with Mr. Sam Wazin. Good morning. Good morning. You are the regional vice president for SMG. Tell us a little bit about that company. Oh, SMG is the <laughs> largest public facility management company in the world. We have over 220 buildings under our management around the world. Okay, the reason you are here is to explain what is going on this weekend at the CenturyLink Center for the biggest concert that we've had here in a long time, Mr. Garth Brooks. Absolutely. It's <laughs> been 19 years since we've had Garth Brooks in the market, and we are now expecting 37,000 people over three shows. This is going to be uh, tantamount to the Super Bowl of country music for the market. I'm telling you, yeah. I, I'm excited. I'm actually going Saturday night at 7, but the big hullabaloo right now is pretty much the 1030 show on Saturday night, right? Sure. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a challenge, and we had to be very creative and, and, and plan out over months. We have a 72-page plan oh for goodness. the whole weekend, but, <laughs> um, you know, it, it, it's going to be a 7 o'clock show and then a... Uh, a 10 o'clock show. Okay. I'm going to say a 10 to 30 show. Right. And what we need to do is get the patrons out of the first show and put the pa- out of the back door and then put the patrons for the second show in the front door. Like I said, that's all been done before. Right. Not a problem. We've done five Garth shows in Jacksonville, Florida under our management. So, wow. you know, it's while it will be a challenge and while it will be somewhat um, different than normal concerts there mm-hmm. for the patrons, it, it's everyone's going to have a great time. I mean, it's Garth Brooks. Absolutely. I have to say I was there 19 years ago. So much fun and I cannot wait for this weekend. So tell us what we need to know, especially if you're going to the later show on Saturday night. Well, parking's going to be limited because the patrons from the first show will already be in the lot. And so we've set up a a very elaborate shuttle program through Sportran, and thankfully the city of Shreveport allowed the uh, usage of Sportran (laughs) buses. We have 40 buses in two different locations picking up. So we're going to run a tram system similar to Disney World. Nice. And one's LSUS (laughs) and one's the boardwalk. Okay. So we have a Bossier and Shreveport location, and then the police have been working together to expedite lanes for those shuttle buses to get people in and out. It may take you less time to ride the shuttle than to actually drive to the arena on a normal basis. And so, you know, it's it's one of those things that I tell you, um, uh, it's well thought out. There is limited parking Mm -hmm. at your own risk um, for the second show uh, if you don't want to ride the shuttle. Now, something that just occurred this week. Landowners, there are two landowners that are adjacent to the CenturyLink Arena property that have allowed patrons to park in their grass lots. Okay. And those are fields. Now, they're not graded for parking lots, and it's at your own risk, of course, and first come, first serve. However, we'll manage the parking, make sure everybody parks efficiently Mm -hmm. uh, and safely. Okay. Uh, Now, the weather gods didn't really... uh, like us last <laughs> night so we'll hopefully they'll dry out enough to to use uh, right for saturday but look that coupled with the shuttle system is going to be an incredible experience for everyone awesome well we can't wait and i appreciate you coming in and trying to explain this so you've cleared it all up we're all understanding now so thank you so much oh you're very welcome and those shuttles start at 5 p.m and they they will go until the last person is out of the arena and at their car safely awesome Every, everyone have a wonderful time this is been 19 years in the making. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Wazan. We'll see you on Saturday.